Much of the West Coast is facing two threats, dangerous fire conditions and brutal heat. Anywhere from the 115 to 120 degrees, so that's, uh, that's incredibly hot. The National Weather Service calls this an exceptionally dangerous, potentially historic and deadly heat event. The massive wildfire burning near the town of Oroville, California, has consumed at least four structures. But there's another toll. Eight firefighters here have suffered heat-related injuries. Standing outside here in this heat, how does it feel to you? If you were to put on all your winter gear to go skiing in 110 degrees and go do some yard work at your house, that's what it's like. They're doing arduous, hard activity in multiple layers of clothing. Most of California is trapped in an unrelenting heat dome, and even water provides little relief. Yeah, this is the hottest I've ever seen it. In Phoenix, a 10-year-old boy died in triple-digit heat while hiking. More than 1,200 Americans die every year from heat-related illnesses. The city of Portland, Oregon, has declared a state of emergency, where many are without air conditioning. Yeah, I think anytime it gets in the triple digits, it's alarming. Holiday heat stretching coast to coast, pushing 100 degrees in the nation's capital this 4th of July. It's hot. Yeah, make sure you have plenty of water. If you can, find some shade. Now this gives you a glimpse of just how dry the grass is here in Oroville. This brush is only fuel on a hot, windy day, which is why warnings about fireworks are posted throughout the area. Official fireworks shows are canceled. Elise Preston, CBS News, Oroville, California.